Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome back to Southwest Salayamu School and College, class 9 and 10, English for today. This is Muhammad Abadullah Kashpak speaking. How are you, everybody? Are you fine? Yes, sir. Alhamdulillah. And you? Yes, sir. We are fine. And you? I'm also fine. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah, we have completed our class unit three. So yes, sir. We are gonna start our unit four, and today we are gonna be discussing about unit four lesson one. So can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me what can you see? Yes, sir. Uh, it's a ferry boat. It's a ferry boat, right? Yes, sir. Maybe it's in uh, developed countries, right? It's not in Bangladesh. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. it's like Dubai. Uh, it seems to be European country or Middle East. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, let me show you the next slide. Welcome. Uh, so what about the picture? Discuss with your partner, then answer the following questions. So um, there, there are lots of students who can discuss with your partners. But I'd like to ask you to discuss with me. So where can you find this kind of boat? In the Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, right. In Bangladesh. So before pronoun, you cannot use article. In Bangladesh. Where can you find this kind of boat? We can find this kind of boat in Bangladesh. Boat in Bangladesh. Yes. So Rafiq, could you please repeat? Yes, so we can find this kind of boat in Bangladesh. In Bangladesh. Okay. Uh, it, it seems to be that the boat is loaded heavily, right? Yes, sir. Uh, why does the boatman carry passengers across a river? Why does the boatman carry passengers across a river? Why? Oh, so there are, there are no uh, roads for the communication Yes, the there is no bridge. The... There is no beach. Bridge. Bridge. So that's In why they, they need to go uh, from one side to another side. Outside. Of the river. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Number three. Why do people use country boats? Because uh, we tend to say that there are different classical people. Some of them are teachers, some of them are farmer. They need to go outside for their work. For that, they use. Country boats. Uh, actually, okay, thank you very much. But why do people use country boats? Because they, uh, there, is, there are not enough um, roads and highways. That's why they need to use country boats uh, because the land is watery land, low land areas, right? In Bangladesh. Okay, so let's go to the another slide. Can you guess what? Uh, is, what is our today's topic? Our today's topic might be ferry boat. Ferry boat. That's good. The ferry boat. So let's start. So today we will discuss about ferry boat. The ferry boat unit for lesson one. Okay. Learning outcomes. We know that in every class we show the learning outcomes. After completing this lesson, students will be able to ask and tell about problems. We will be able to um, discuss about the problems and solve the problems. Seek and give suggestions. Sometimes we need suggestions. We will be able to seek, ask and give some suggestion. Listen for specific information and we will be able to listen um, here the specific definite information and narrate something in writing and our writing skill will be developed. Okay, let's know some key words, right? Okay, what is shoulder? Can you tell me? Shoulder. Okay. Shoulder is a organ of human body. Organ Can you say of? That's a part of our body. Okay, that's good. Different. Rafik is a very smart boy. Um, an organ of human body or a part of human body, right? Often country people carry their backs on shoulder, right? So sometimes the country people, they have no um, trucks. Or, uh, that's why they carry their backs on their shoulder. On, on their upper part of the body, right? Cross the river. What do you mean by cross the river? 
to complete one side to outside on the river. Okay, to go another side of a river from one side. That means if you cross the river, that means you want to go other part of the river, other, other bank of the river, right? Okay. They are crossing the river by boat. If I ask you, what are they doing on this picture? They are crossing the river. Um, they are crossing the river by boat. That's good. That's good. Okay. So, ferry boat. What do you mean by ferry boat? Ferry boat is a type of boat which helps a man to grow out one side to outside. One, one side to another side. Read the passage, please. Um, would you read the passage? Rahat Talukdar. Yes, sir. Okay. So can I start now? Yes. Where is my boy? Start. Is there anybody here who has ever crossed a river by a country boat? Okay. That means you are asking. That means, or, yeah. Or someone Yeah, asking, I'm asking now. That is there anybody here who has ever crossed yes. a river by a country boat? Okay. Crossed a river by a country boat, yeah. And they crossed the river, that means, I, that means to to go one part to another to, part. To pass, to pass the river. Okay, that's good. To pass the river, very smart answer. So that maybe yes. the teacher asked the student uh, that is there anybody yes. here who has ever crossed the river? That who, has who has ever, ever crossed a river? Passed the river by a country boat. The, past the river, yes, one side to another side. Yes, so then next. Yeah, I have teacher said Jamil. Okay. So, Jamil also said. Uh, li listen, listen, I have, I have, that means I have yeah. passed, I have crossed the river. Yes. Okay, teacher. He also has he called, passed the, the river. Let me, let me explain it. I have, that means yeah. I have crossed the river then he say, uh, said to the teacher, teacher, he called the teacher, that teacher, I have crossed the river, okay? Said Jamil. Who said it? Jamil said it. Jamil. Okay, then next. Yes. And I clearly remember what happened in that journey. Okay, that's good. And I clearly remember what happened in that journey, that he, ca he can um, remember it, he can recall it in his memory, that yes. what happened, what, yeah. was the, what was the happenings, what was the matter in that journey, yes. right? He, he can share his, yes. He, yes, sir. he is able to share his experience on the-, the His experience. feelings. Yes, his feelings, oh, good, good. Okay, let me ask you another student, please. So then I start. Let me, let me ask you another student. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, where is Madhavi Dutta? Please, could you, could you please read the rest part? Madhavi Dutta. Okay, sir. Thank you. Could you please tell us what happened? The teacher asked. Okay, that's me. good. Okay, can you explain it? The that teacher is... asked Jami and Jamil, would you please tell us what happened? Okay. okay, the teacher inquired. In the teacher wanted to know, right? The teacher asked. That means teacher wanted to know. Okay. Yes, so I wanted to know. Yes, the teacher asked means the teacher wanted to know from Jamil. Would you please tell us what happened? That means Jamil, could you please tell me what happened in that journey? Oh, uh, it, it, there was a journey, uh, Jamil said. Jamil uh, expressed his um, um, uh, experience and the teacher wanted to know the um, feeling or the happenings, what happened in that time, right? So. Sumaya, please read the rest part. Quickly, okay, quickly. teacher. I ha yes. It happened when I was in class six. Okay. Let, let, me, was a let me let me weekly. let me make the correction. It's not when. It's when. When. Okay. When I was in class six. Can you explain it? Okay, teacher. It happened when I was in class six. That means or the, weekly... the, the happening happens when he was in class six. That means he read in class six and the, at that time, he, the happening happened. Okay. So next, on a weekly bazaar. Okay. 
on a weekly budget day people were coming back with their shopping bags and biscuits in hands on shoulders and heads they had to cross the river on a weekly bazaar day that means there is a market and they sit weekly right at the end of the week or middle of the week people were coming back with their shopping bags they were coming um, from the market from the bazaar uh, with their with their shopping bags and baskets in hands they carried their bags and baskets in hands on shoulders and also on shoulders and hats also and we know that the local people use their hats shoulders and hands to carry all their bags so they had to cross the river they had to cross the river because there is no there is no bridge there is no uh, roads that's why they had to cross the river with a um, boat ferry boat though it was not a big river there was a small river it may be the steam so there was a ferry boat flying on the river that means the boat was uh, carrying the people so the boat could cross it in 8 to 10 minutes the boat could cross it in 8 to 10 minutes that means for very few minutes the boat could cross the um, past the river it was just after sunset and the time was um, um, the, just after sunset uh, at the evening the weather was getting bad the, the weather was not so good the wind started blowing from the northwest that means the air was coming from um, the northwest northwest side black clouds were moving first in the sky we know that before rain we get black clouds on the sky so black clouds were moving fast in the sky so everybody was trying to get into the boat everybody was trying to get into the boat that means they were rushing uh, to jump on the uh, boat yes so no more no more please wait shouted the boatman the boatman said you know that we we face the situation in our local area also so no more no more please wait that means the, um, shouted the boatman the boatman wanted to take no more people on his boat because his boat is was loaded but nobody listened to him nobody paid heed uh, uh, to him and uh, what happened then jameen asked to me you know man is curious to see the unseen to know the unknown to explore the unexplored so rumi also wanted to know what happened then jamil she asked jamil that um, she inquired jamil to know what was happening so with too many people on board uh, the boat sank in the middle of the river replied jamil jamil said that um, the boat was loaded too many people on board the boat sank in the middle of the river the boat sank that means un went under the water in the middle of the river oh no what happened then asked the teacher the teacher also wanted to oh no the, he expressed his feelings oh no and then he asked him uh, wanted to know from jamil what happened then the, he, he was also curious so thank god there were no casualties all the passengers swam to the other side there was no casualties that means there was no problem they faced uh, they faced a little problem but there was no um, big issues all the passengers swam to the other side the past form of swim is swam they, the passengers swam to the other side uh, but some of them lost the stuff they were carrying such as well salt and milk said jamil jamil said that some of the people some of the passengers lost the stuff that means that they carried they brought well salt and milk from the shop and the lost uh, the the water the steam of the river took away all the stuff right so where you on the boat asked the teacher the teacher also wanted to know that were you on the boat that jamil was jamil on the boat so jamil said that no teacher uh, saying the boat overcrowded i waited for the next trip replied jamil jamil said that no teacher i was not in the boat saying the boat overcrowded the boat was overcrowded and i waited for the next trip i didn't get up on the boat because the boat was overcrowded overloaded jamil said okay so you did the right thing jamil the teacher maybe the teacher uh, replied that you did the right thing jamil took that right decision that 
the being seeing the boat overcrowded he uh, didn't get up on the boat right that's the end of your passage okay have you got the passage please inform me yes sir yes sir thank you take the best answer okay there is a screen that you uh, got it uh, okay let me ask you a ferry boat was plying on the river her plying means is it plying on with other boats sinking in the river traveling along a road waiting for passengers sinking in the river sinking in the river mm. no sir okay okay can you tell me traveling right. along a road is Tra maybe right i okay. i'm not sure okay traveling along a road okay okay flying means um uh, not sinking in the river sinking that means i um, uh, go under the water not uh, the flying means the boat was moving from one side to another side okay so it may be fabiha may be correct so traveling along the road traveling along a road that means it was traveling it was um, going one side to another side and carrying the passenger right thank you all okay number two question why was everybody trying to get into the boat because it was a it was going to be a dark and st uh, stormy evening evening um, yeah. maybe maybe anyone else it was a weekly bazaar after sunset no ferry would ply on the river everybody and had shopping bags with them so i am agree with chat sorry i am agree with rahat okay you agree with rahat i agree with rahat not i am i am also you also good good girl you also okay anyone else do you have any different opinion please nobody has different opinion Rahat. Fabiha, do you have any different opinions? No, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. It was going to be dark and a stormy evening. It was a weekly bazaar day. That's why they're rushing on the boat. After sunset, no ferry would ply on the river. Can you remember that someone, uh, Jamil, Jamil, Jamil was waiting for the another trip, right? So everybody had shopping bags with them. No, the Jamil also had uh, shopping bags with him. Uh, he didn't uh, rush. The correct answer would be it was going to be a dark and a stormy evening, right? So number three, the boatman requested the people to wait because what's the cause? The boat had already too much people, too many people. Too many people. Anyone else, please? The boatman requested people to wait because his boat was very small. The boat had already too many people. There were other boats they could take. You would not ferry people with bags and baskets. Yes, sir. I agree with Rovik. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. The boat had already too many people. That means the boat. The boat was... had already too many people. Yes. The boat was overcrowded. The boat was overcrowded, overloaded with the people. Okay. Number four. With the too many people on board, the boat sank. Da -da 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 and the phrase on board means one on the boat on the boat uh, on the on board. board on the board mm, on the wooden board outside the boat on the notice board <laughs> on the boat on on the boat okay on board on board means on the boat not on board okay that means board means uh, mm, to um, to do the journey on any 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 vehicles any uh, like a plane plane or um, boat right fly okay there there were no casualties the statement tells us that what nobody died nobody was rescued nobody accepted their fate nobody lost anything <clears throat> nobody accepted their fate mm. no sir no, no, okay, Rafi. I think nobody, nobody died. died. Yeah. So nobody, yes, sir, died. nobody died. Okay, that means nobody died. 
nobody accepted their fate that means they depend on the fate no nobody was rescued that means everyone was rescued everyone passed the, the river nobody lost anything yes someone lost their salt and their uh, necessary things also yes but nobody died okay the boat was overcrowded means how overcrowded means people were quarreling on the boat the boat was unable to carry any more people the boatman did not like a crowd people were sitting on the boat's bamboo hood which one is correct the boat was, the boat was, boat was unable to carry any more people yes, that's good that's good rafiq and fabiha the boat was unable to carry any more people that means the boat was overloaded with the people right thank you all okay um so individual works um, look at the pictures and guess why do many people have little or no patience in situations as in their ferry boat okay okay take the screenshot and this is your homework and send it to me through whatsapp right sir i did not understand okay so there there are lots of pictures right the picture is yes, sir. here is the picture and uh, the picture is for your uh, helping your answer so look at the pictures and guess why do many people have little or no patience why people have no patience they rush on to jump on the road what's the problem so write a paragraph on this situation as in the ferry boat why the bangladeshi people especially the bangladeshi people rush on the boat to pass the river to cross the river why okay and there there is a storm symbol of storm uh, over people overcrowded people um they have not enough time at the time of evening a uh, lots of uh, things lots of problems we have so write down what's the problem we so is it also like a paragraph yes write down it and as a paragraph okay so why okay sir why yes, sir. Do many people have little or no patience in situations as in the ferry boat why people want to go to their home uh, quickly okay write a paragraph guess if we have too many buyers of fish in the market what is likely to happen if the market is overcrowded what kind of problems we face in our market right so write a, a four or five lines about the question okay take a screenshot yes sir um, and population problems look at the above pictures and guess if we have too many people in a town bus and train then what will happen okay so population problems is also a great problem so if the population is uh, over what kinds of problem we will face in our country L write four or five lines about population problems okay yes sir all the things are your homework okay homework another homework read the above text right that means the text we have already understood uh fill in the gaps with contextually appropriate words so fill in the gaps this is your homework also and this is the end of your class hope that you have enjoyed your class thank you very much